I hope everybody's doing good. Welcome to my channel. My name is Yadrissa and let's just get straight into the video. I'm going to show you guys how I created these hair bows in my hair today. This is a quick, easy style. It took me maybe about 15 minutes to create these cute hair bows. Um, I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step detailed tutorials on how to create this same look. And you can achieve this at home as well. Save a little money try new different styles it's not really a trending style but it's something that i wanted to try out and i wanted to um you know style my hair like so i'm going to show you guys exactly how i got this look just stay tuned so the hair i'm going to be using today is a 13 by 4 frontal this was a 613 blonde wig that i did the watercolor dye to this ginger color and it is in 16 inches for this frontal so the next thing I'm going to be going in with the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation and I'm going to be applying, taking some of that on a brush and applying that foundation to the lace of my wig so it can match my skin tone when I apply the wig to my head. So I did just put the wig on my head. I did not do the ball cap method. I just put a stocking cap on my head and I just put the wig on top. So I was just pinning the sides away um, with my clips because I didn't want the hair to get in the way while I was going to um, get ready and prep for me to install this wig. I'm gonna be using the um, Ghost Barn lace glue today. And as you can see, I didn't do the ball cap method. I just put a stock cap on and I'm just gonna be applying that Ghost Barn glue to my hairline basically. Make sure you move in, uh, well, I like to move in um, section by section and make sure that you do thin layers of the glue when you apply it to your hairline because you don't want it to be too thick where it's not going to dry properly and take a long time to dry, basically. You don't want it to be dry, but you do want it to dry down to it is clear and tacky. And I am, um, I am going in with my blow dryer just to help speed up the process of this glue drying. And I did apply two layers of that lace glue to my hairline and then just blow dry it with the blow dryer as you can see that previous clip. So now I'm just measuring it, just making sure everything is lined up. And making sure I have everything in, in the correct place because you don't want your wig to be lopsided, of course. So make sure that it's even on both sides. I like to lay my wig down in sections, start with the middle, and then go on to my side. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just laying down my wig on top of that lace glue. And I'm just following my natural hairline. I have a narrow, um, hairline is narrow in the middle and it goes a little bit back in the middle and the sides come out a little bit further so I'm following my natural hairline shape and I'm just taking my comb and I'm just trying to smooth down that lace and press it down into the glue at the same time I was just also using my finger just to press it down just to make sure everything is you know laid down completely nothing is um out of place you want to make sure that it is completely on that glue and the glue is going to hold it in place so this is what i like to do i'm using that comb and i'm pressing it down as i am going along and combing it So the next thing I'm going to be doing here is I started to flat iron my hair. I did flat iron my whole head. I did go in with my pink lotion for moisturizer and I did go in with my heat protective spray before I applied um, any heat, you know, to the hair. So you don't want to damage the hair in any type of way. So I'm just using that comb, that hot comb as well to smooth down the hair to straighten the hair and let it lay as flat as possible that's why I'm using that hot comb as well and I did want a middle part for this style so that is why I am making that middle part 
and I am going to speed this up as far as me um, flat ironing my hair. I'm just going to show you this side and then we're just going to continue on with this video. As you can see, my whole head is flat ironed now and everything is flat, just like I, how I wanted it. So I'm just showing you guys that I was taking that part and I'm going all the way to the back of the nape of my neck. Just make your part go straight down, all the way down. Because you're going to use, you're not leaving any hair hanging down. You're just going to make two big ponytails. So that is what I'm doing. Now I'm using that comb just to smooth everything into place. I do want, I did want for this style to have high ponytails. So that is what I'm trying to do. Just combing everything into the desired area for my ponytails that I'm going to be creating. make sure you keep smoothing it out and straightening it so it is in the perfect placement for you and now I'm going to be taking my elastic band my hair tie and I'm just going to be forming my ponytail this is the edge booster wax stick I'm going to be using that to tame my flyaways and just applying that to the hair where the hair was sticking up those fine hairs and it's always good to go in with your hot comb to smooth down the hair and this works perfectly with the wax stick it helps it lay down those you know those shorter pieces of hair those stray hairs helps it lay down very very flat so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my ponytail and I'm moving my ponytail to the front of my head and I'm taking these rubber bands and I took about two wrapped it on around my finger and I'm going to be forming a loop Make sure you have the ponytail facing the front of your hair. You want you don't want the hair in the back. You want that hair that's hanging down that I'm touching in the front. Leave that down. So you see how I didn't pull it, the ponytail all the way through. I pulled it um, a little a little more than halfway through. And now I'm taking that ponytail that I just did right there, that loop, and I did split it into two sections. And these are the two sections that you're going to be using to create those bows. So I was just trying to fan out the hair just to see if it was an even amount on each side and to you know just get a feel of if I um, if I was satisfied with how big the sections were. So now I am going to be taking my hair pins my bobby pins excuse me and I'm just going to take the bottom of that um bow just the hair that's from the bottom only and just a small section and I'm going to be pinning that down to the top of my head so just use those bobby pins just to pin it down on your head basically same thing for this side as well taking my bobby pin and I'm going to be pinning down the front of that bowl to my hair as you can see and I just keep fanning it out as I go along because I want my bowls to be nice and big and full so that is why I was trying to achieve by fanning them out and spreading the hair out on my head So I did pin the front and the back of these bows down to my head and now I'm taking that section of hair that I have left out in the front which is the end of that ponytail here so this section here which is the end of that ponytail you're going to be using that to go over and in between the bow to create that bow effect and I'm still going to be using my bobby pins excuse me I'm going to be using my yeah I'm sorry my bobby pins to hold the hair down in place so I did over I just put the hair 
going back now to form that bow and I did put it in place using my bobby pin. And I'm just going to continue to fan out those bows because again I wanted my bows to be really really full and really really big. So I was trying to fan it out and make it even on both sides. You can also go in with your spritz or any type of freezing spray to hold those bows in place if you wanted to have a longer lasting um, hairstyle. Um, I decided not to spray my bows because um, yeah, I just didn't think it was necessary for me. But um, yeah, I just didn't spray mine. But you can if you want this style to last throughout the whole day. And I did just take my wax stick for this side. I edge piece of wax stick for this side of the hair and apply it to the hairline and to lay down it. You know, the straight hair, the flyaways and stuff like that. And I'm just combing my hair into that ponytail, that section I'm going to make for my ponytail. And here's my hot comb. Make sure you be very careful with the hot comb and take your time. This clip is sped up, so I'm not moving this fast. I am moving a lot slower and being, you know, careful with your hot comb, basically. So I'm just combing the back up because, again, there's no hair that's going to be down. Everything is going to be going into a ponytail. For this style so just comb it into place smooth out the hair and lay it down into place with that hot comb now I'm going to be grabbing my elastic tie and I'm just going to be making my second ponytail and if you have gotten this far into the video and you have not already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload my weekly videos here on my channel. I don't have a set schedule yet, but I do upload two to three times a week here on my channel. So after I have the um, ponytail formed, I am going to be combing that hair forward. Remember, comb your hair forward to the front of your face. And when we're taking these two rubber bands, put them together. And I'm going to be forming a loop again. You see how I fold the hair over? And then I'm going to go over with the, um, I'm going to put the rubber bands over top after I folded the hair forward. Make sure you fold the hair forward. So now what I'm doing is I'm pulling the hair through. And I'm not pulling it through completely. I'm just pulling it through just to make, um, just to get ready to form the bones, excuse me. So now I'm going to be splitting that loop that I just made into two even sections. So now I'm gonna be going in with my bobby pins and the same thing I did on the opposite side I'm going to be doing to this side as you can see I'm taking the bottom of that hair of the bottom of that loop only and I'm just going to be holding it down to my head and I'm just going to be pinning that down into place I was trying to get a close-up to you so you guys can get a really good view of how I'm doing this again as you can see I was holding down the bottom of the hair just the bottom of the loop and then I'm going to pin it down with my bobby pin just to keep it to stay in place make sure you push it all the way through so it's not visible coming along pretty good so now I'm going to be fanning out the other side of this bow just separating the hair trying to make the bow um you know the sides really big and full so that's why I'm trying to spread it out as much as I can as much as possible so as you can see I'm taking a small section from the bottom only and I'm gonna hold it down to my head, as you can see, 
take a small section, pull it down, get your bobby pin, and pin it down into place. It's really that easy, as you can see. And as you pin in the hair down, make sure you keep feathering it out so there's no spaces in between your bows. So I'm just gonna go in and continue to just pin the bottom of this bow down. Go on with your bobby pin, hold the hair down, a small section to the head, and then pin it into place so that it does not move. After you pin it down, make sure you keep on feathering and opening up those bows and positioning the bows to where you would like them. Now this is the end of the hair and I'm just showing you that I'm going to be taking that and that is the part that is going to be in the middle of the bow and it's going to be covering as you can see I'm putting in this area I'm just gonna fold that hair back see how easy that is just take the hair and fold it back in between the section use your bobby pen and pin it down this is a really really easy hairstyle as you can see this hairstyle was really, really fast, it's quick, it's easy, it is really cute, and it's an eye catcher. It's a conversation piece, and just if you wanna have fun and try different styles, this is a look that you should try. I really enjoyed this look. I thought it was really cute, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of this hairstyle in the comment section below as well. And if you recreate this look, send me your pictures or send me your inspo or, you know, let me know. I want to see you guys' recreation if you do decide to recreate. So here's just a small video clip of me change my clothes, fix up my makeup, and yeah, this is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also connect with me on my other social media platforms. I hope to see you guys in another video. Go check out some of my other videos I have on here posted. Bye.